off it like I'm the Danny boy here and we are back with more transport fever at the races for race four the diesel haulage race and they are all lined up ready to go and for those of you with a sharp eye will see that this train only has one uh, that's actually true they actually do have the four there were some signals here that were causing a bit of an issue I don't know why I had to delete them and if you delete a bit of track or a signal which the train uh, if it's a section that the train is on it sort of deletes carriages for the back but they are all there they all have they all have four and are ready to rock and roll so uh, hopefully we'll get less glitches this time uh, we'll just have to wait and see the Russian German and French train were uh, Really were going to town with the glitches on the single unit race and the American, British and Chinese train seem to work fine. But I will set them all to go to Bishop Waltham and hopefully they will be good to go. Uh, one of the subs actually said that uh, they should change up the trains to sort of stop it from getting a bit uh, stale. That was actually a thought that crossed my mind but because this is a championship we are basically running with the same trains all the time just in different liveries uh, and the reason was because I wanted to keep them all on like a sort of even playing field now when it comes to steam trains diesels electrics there are literally hundreds of trains on steam workshop finding ones from each of the countries that we need that run at the same speed and the same classes, steam, diesel, electrics, etc., is actually incredibly difficult. Uh, and it would be a case of, if I was to run another Chinese train, the top speed would only be about 65 miles per hour. If I was to run another diesel Russian train, top speed would be about 70 miles per hour. So it is hard to find uh, these... Oh God, wait a minute. Well, that was strange. Uh, it is fine to sort of, uh, it's hard to sort of find trains that are sort of on an even playing field from the same sort of, uh, for the same countries. Uh, there will be a, a break because it's mid-season. This is round five. We won't go into the round six at the end of, I do believe it's this October we're into, uh, that we will do, I will do a mixed match and different races with different trains mostly of what people have been asking for in the comments so if there is anything you would like to see uh fire something down in the comments and i could maybe add it there will be about seven or eight races of all different things freight uh running these trains with uh, car uh with carriages that are from their own country uh or sort of appropriate carriages for each train to see how they get on see how it handicaps them and things like that but that is for next month so without further ado though we shall get the diesel haulage race going in three two one and go listen for the horns nice the american is slightly ahead French train. I do like this French train in the red and white. I prefer it to the blue. As you can see, they do all have their four carriages. Uh, the French train is struggling. It is an uphill battle right from the start. We'll select a train. The Chinese train looks to be out in front slightly. So we'll check the speed on that. It's at 47. They're getting up to 50. They will have to go completely entirely uphill for this section though. Uh, so hopefully we won't get any glitches because that would seriously be a massive, a huge disadvantage for any train if it glitches at this section on the top. They need this sort of momentum to keep them going up the hill. If they were to suddenly stop and had to regain that momentum, it would be catastrophic. They probably would not be able to regain the other trains providing the other trains didn't glitch. So it looks like the American is in second. So we'll bring him up 
to there. Looks like the Russian is doing pretty good in third. And it is a battle for fourth place between the British train and German train. Uh, so we shall leave them. I'm going to try and refrain from clicking on too many different things. Because it seems when I do that, uh, that's when glitches sort of happen. I will need to bring... I'm going to say the British train is in fourth. The German train is in fifth. Give me the French train here. Right now we shall be able to keep an eye on them. We'll go for a sort of middle of the park train. Which is the Russian train. Whoops, did not mean to push that. There we go. The Chinese train is actually doing pretty good. It is quite decent at haul and it does have a decent top speed. The American is quite good at the haulage as well. And it also has a better top speed now that we've got the modded version. I could have used the standard version, the vanilla version, in the game. Uh, but the Chinese train would have totally have run away with it. And there would have been no competition there at all. Uh, because these are the sort of base the box standards. The There are lots of trains with Steam Workshop from France, Austria, Germany, Switzerland, uh, the UK... There are some from Spain, America, Russia, and those are your sort of cream of the crop, sort of where trains are mostly used. There are a couple of Chinese trains and uh, South Korean trains or North Korean trains. But apart from that, there's not really a lot from any other country. Holland, there are a few from Holland. Unfortunately, the diesels and electrics from Holland don't match the sort of speed that we need. Which is unfortunate, because I would have totally have used a ditch train. And I have been checking the workshop periodically, basically before each race, because I need to also find out uh, for the seventh race of each round what I'm going to use for bonus trains. I have the bonus trains picked out. Now, they are sort of... Uh, normally equally matched trains uh, trains that are all ooh, right we had a lot of pause there but everyone's still at speed there are trains that are equally matched they have the same speed same basically it's the same train in a different livery uh, like we used the Alcos we used them once we also used a uh, Stadler Flirts which I tried to get all in the same sort of frame but it was one short, I had to take a round fee one that I did not notice that the stats were slightly better on. It had the same top speed, but it had a better acceleration and it seemed to be lighter than the other trains. So, even getting that is difficult to find things that are all the same. And I normally do that just so that they can run. This is before I realized about the glitches, that they could sort of run along this track and then it was sort of determine which track was the best track to be on even though we only really do it in one direction we don't do it in both directions so it's normally outside trains are hindered because they do have the inside turns which slow them down whether it's if you're on the left side or the right side <coughs> where the trains in the middle sort of have the best of both worlds they don't have to slow down too much because they're not inside too much and they can carry sort of more speed but not as much speed as a train traveling around the outer side so we've been following the russian train for a while uh, the british train i would dare say you are going to lose a place because the german train can go past 95 miles per hour there it is at 97 french train is already at 95 miles per hour so it may close the gap the China train and US train are actually in a tunnel. That's inconvenient because I wanted to actually see. So you are at the exit stage of that tunnel. Your American counterpart has just exited there. Just seen it no more. Uh, I would say the British train is probably lost. There has been no glitches. Everyone is still at top speed. 
I'll be interested to see who comes out of this tunnel first. Where is the exit? You are just hanging on in there. That's pretty decent. Uh, the French train is sort of closing. It looks as though it's closed a wee touch. The Russian train is still doing fine. The American train, I thought, would have uh, caught the... It has got slightly more... No, it's not. It's, it's the same. So they are sort of struggling going up this uphill section. So it looks like the Chinese train might get another win back. And it looks like the Russian will earn some much needed points. The UK about to be taken down by the German train. There we go. It is also hard to get trains that are the same age. Uh, these two trains, although we still use these in the UK, they are old. I mean, older than me old. And this German train is fairly old as well. I think it's from the 80s. At some point this French train is old but they do have newer variants of it that came out in the late 2000s and I think that is one of the variants I'm currently running at the moment although I don't think the stats actually change if you pick an older one rather than a newer one I think they remain the same this Russian train here is the newest of the bunch I think this one is 2012. I'm pretty sure this GE was 2010, or I might be something completely wrong about that, but it is fairly new as well. Uh, this Chinese train, I think, was maybe the 80s as well. But it works, it's a decent train. <laughs> There we go, whether 106 is its actual top speed, but it does look like you are starting to head towards Bishop Walton. the R. There has been no glitches. I thought that was a glitch there, but you're just slowing down for the corner. Alright, this may be the British train's chance to gain some more ground. Although, I think the British train and the German train are pretty evenly matched there we go oh no you are catching up it's because he's on the inside French train is also catching so well done to the French there right this is a slow section it is downhill but it is a winding section to get us back down to sort of sea level or ground level through the mountains there you are heading in a tunnel you are in a tunnel <laughs> now you're in a tunnel, but you are out, so let's see where you are. We get these pauses whenever I click on a train. Every time I do, I think it's because one of the trains is glitched. But it turns out we're looking pretty good for this race. Looking pretty good indeed. Now, as I said at the start, one of the races I would like to do is trains with... Uh, sort of country specific characters uh, characters carriages which we can totally do there are Chinese passenger carriages on Steam Workshop there are plenty of American Russian the UK German French that is not a problem uh, I can't remember who it was who it was who asked for that but it seemed like a good idea uh, like for example in the electrics the Norwegian train the NSB does extremely well and it's a decent train but if you match it with the Norwegian carriage or the only one that I can find on Steam Workshop it will not be as good the train does 124 but I think the carriage has a top speed of like a hundred or something <coughs> so it will be handicapped by that carriage and we'll just have to see uh, the Americans will be good because these West Trail West fleets actually do 124. That's why I picked them. Uh, I did actually, there are trains, a lot of trains, or a few trains, single units, that do, I think it's 140, 
102 or 143 miles per hour that I wanted to use but finding carriages for them was an issue uh, apart from these West Hill West Fleet there's not many carriages out there that do 124 miles per hour I think maybe the Einzwagen 4 or 5 ooh, I'm totally neglecting the fact that you want I think they do 124 as well, but I can't be sure. Some of the British colleges I know for a fact do 124. So well done, Russia. Now, you've won that we need to keep an eye. You are second. You are third. Now, I need to keep an eye on these German train and British train as they head down the hill here. Because they will start to slow down, but well, pretty much you should be there you start slowing down you started slowing down your brakes are slightly better so you can afford to slow down at a later time but it was definitely a fourth place for the german train fifth place for the uk and the french train in last unfortunately they needed some more points they were unable to get them chinese train trying to escape there just you halt and you halt and we'll speed it up a touch because I actually made this like a 13 mile an hour section of track and there we go so we have our winner the Chinese train getting back in its first place there I think it did well because it's got more sort of pull and power at the uphill section at the start of the race uh, the American has got decent haulage as well, but it just couldn't beat the Chinese train. The UK train fought bravely, but it ended up in fifth. Germany in fourth. Russia had a clean race there in third. And the French train actually had a clean race as well. No glitches, but it got stuck there in last. So there we have it. The diesel haulage race, or the diesel races, in fact, are now done. For round five we'll go to the table standings and see how they got on though okay so at the end of race two china up there in first for six points the usa in second uh, to get five so it's a total of 11 points for both of them over the two races uh, russia getting up into third which is pretty decent uh, germany in fourth Great Britain in 5th and France in last. So that is it for the race standings. We'll head to the championship standings, which I actually completely forgot to do in the last video. I did do them, uh, but when I rendered it, it's... Well, when I rendered it, it actually did do these uh, results bit, but when I uploaded it into YouTube, it did not. So I'm not exactly sure if it happened there. Uh, it was a bit strange, but hopefully this one will work. The rest all worked, so there should be no reason why it should not. So we'll go to the championship anyway and see how they're running. Uh, and this will be the result. They also with the points added on from the previous race as well that uh, never came up the last time. So the championships uh, look as this: China is still in the lead with fifty-eight points. The USA is slightly gaining though, they're up there with 50. Russia is sort of jumped into third place there and has 34 points. Uh, eight points ahead of Germany, its next uh, next nearest rival. But Germany and France are sort of evenly matched uh, with 26 and 25. And Britain obviously in last place. They did get a few more points, I think they got four, five, six points. Uh, and this because they only had 11 at the end of the last is up brought them up to 17 so they'll they'll soon be in uh, 20 uh, hopefully I don't think they'll catch the French and the German but a few more points don't hurt but as always that is it for the diesel races next up is the turn of the electrics and as always if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like comment or dislike please feel free to do so and if you'd like to see more of it is happening in the future, then hit that subscribe button. It does mean a lot. It's very much appreciated. And as always, I've been Danny Boy. This has been Transport Fever. 
at the races on round five on Shutter Island, and I will catch you later.